Hello everyone, this video will explain what the National Resident Matching Program or NRMP match is and how it works. Applying to residency is different than when you applied to medical school. For medical school, you chose institutions that you liked, applied to probably multiple schools and then had choices for which school you wanted to attend. The match is different. Let's look at an example scenario. In this example, we have four applicants and three programs. Justin, Alex, Nisha, and Laura are all applying to residency through the match. Let's start with Nisha. Nisha has ranked Green Forest as her top choice. Green Forest has also chosen Nisha as their top choice. Notice that Blue River has ranked Nisha as their top choice too. However, the match favors the applicant, and Nisha prefers Green Forest's program. Therefore, Nisha will match at Green Forest, not Blue River. Her rank will not be affected by other applicants' choices, as she was ranked to match which means ranked among the top number of spots available. In this case, the program has two spots, and she was ranked among these top two spots. Now let's go to Justin. Justin ranked Green Forest as his number one choice of program. Green Forest ranked Justin as number two, and Green Forest has two spots available, so Justin is also ranked to match. This also means that Justin has secured his place at Green Forest. Since Green Forest has two spots open, and the first spot has been secured to Nisha, Justin has now secured the second. Now let's look at Alex. Alex has ranked Green Forest as his number one choice, and he was only ranked one program. Green Forest has chosen him third in the rank list. Since Justin and Nisha both will match at Green Forest, given its place on the rank list. Unfortunately, this means that Alex cannot match at Green Forest. Since he only ranked one program, Alex will not match at any program. Finally, Laura has chosen Red Valley as her top choice. Red Valley ranked Laura second. Because they have one spot available and Justin has already been matched to Green Forest, Laura will match at Red Valley. In this example, we saw that Justin and Nisha matched at Green Forest and that Laura matched at Red Valley. It's important to keep in mind that the match is binding. You must accept the placement that the system generates and continue your medical training there. We also saw that Alex unfortunately didn't match. Blue River also didn't secure any applicants to fill its open positions. In general, a longer rank list can make you more likely to match. Remember, Alex only ranked one program. You should rank any program that you want to train at, and you should only rank programs at which you had an interview. Programs will be unlikely to rank anyone they didn't interview. What does the NRMB match timeline look like? Before we end, I wanted to go quickly over the match timeline. In September, those looking to match apply to residency through ERAS, the Electronic Residency Application Service. From October to January, applicants will be contacted and have interviews at residency programs that they have chosen. In February, applicants and programs will submit their rank order list. For the applicants, this list is the order of preference for their residency training. For programs, this list is their preferred order of candidates that they would like to fill their open positions. Match day, when you discover which program you matched with, happens in March. If you want to talk more about your specific match process, check out the matchguide.com for services like match application packages, residency advising sessions, and rank list advising sessions. We look forward to working with you on your application.